Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your Six Tech. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to install applications to your LG TV. And I have my Magic Remote right here, and this has a cursor on it. It seems like sometimes it goes away. But what I want to do is go up to the top, and you can see all these different applications right here. And this is the home screen. If you haven't been here before, just press the little home button. And this is going to bring you to the section where you can see all these different apps. So like YouTube TV or right here, or Apple TV, uh, Pluto. So you can find some of the applications under here. Otherwise, if you look at your remote, it says Netflix, Prime Video, LG TV, uh, Channels, Sling, or Disney. So if I just like press Netflix, it should install this on my TV if I'm connected to the internet. So it might say like updating app, but if you wanna see all the applications, uh, skip all these categories in the top, and go all the way to the left here. So you can see I have the scrolly bar, press the row all the way to the left. Then we have apps right here. Click the little scrolly wheel in. So if we click apps, otherwise you can just use the cursor and go to it, but it'll bring us to the app page now where we can find everything under here. And there's gonna be a bunch of different categories on the top like featured, entertainment, games, news and info, life, education, so we can choose one of those, and this is a really funny movie, Planes, Trains, and Automobiles. I actually like watching that. So let's go to one of these categories on top, otherwise they get the featured content right here. Um, I don't know if you are looking for anything uh, specific or just scrolling, but let's go on over to Entertainment and see if there's any applications that are here that we wanna go ahead and get. So we got YouTube TV, that's a popular one. Um, foreign TV, some of these I haven't heard before, but let's just go ahead and download some random one. So let's click it with the mouse wheel in, and then we can go to where it says install right here. Let's click install, and then go to yes. You do need to log in to install or update this application. So let's just go to yes, and then we have to sign in with an LG account. And I never set this up, but you'll have to go to a mobile device and set this up if you want this specific app. Now, not all the applications are like this, so I'm just gonna go back and back and then I can find a different application install. So when I installed YouTube, I didn't need to update anything, but here's Peacock. Let's go to Peacock and try this out and then go to install it. And it says, you need to log in to install Peacock. Do you want to log in? I don't want to log in. So you're going to have to set up your uh, LG account for most of these applications. For some reason, YouTube worked for me. So it's got mobile sign-in, device sign-in, LG ThinkQ app. So if you got the ThinkQ app, you know, you might want to get the app because then you can um, you can mirror your phone over on over to your TV using Bluetooth, which is convenient. So choose one of these options and just sign in. So uh, let's go to device sign-in and then you're going to have to set up or create an LG account by typing in your email address and stuff on here. So we can go to agree on all these and then go to agree. Please input your email address and the password and then click OK. So you can just type something in and then you should be able to just download everything. So you can decide how you want to get that on your TV, but that's how you install applications. So hopefully this video did indeed help you out. If it did, leave it a big thumbs up and subscribe my channel down below for more tech videos coming up next on Your Six Tech.